Breaking within the past hour, President Biden signed the historic Respect for Marriage Act. The legislation is a major step toward protecting same-sex and interracial marriages under federal law. Marriage, I mean this involved my heart, marriage is a simple proposition. Who do you love? And will you be loyal with that person you love? It's not more complicated than that. The law recognizes that everyone should have the right to answer those questions for themselves without the government interference. News 6's Brian Didlake breaks down what this new law does and what it means for local LGBTQ organizations. You know why I wanted to paint my nails blue? Why? Because blue is your color of pride. It's moments like these that Tatiana Kiorga says means so much more today. Just overwhelmingly joyful, knowing that my family is fully protected, my marriage is fully protected. Kiorga is reacting as President Joe Biden signs the Respect for Marriage Act into law. Hello, hello, hello! The law is now set to safeguard LGBTQ and interracial marriages. The signing comes after a months-long bipartisan effort sparked by the overturn of Roe v. Wade by the Supreme Court back in June. It has a, it has a little bit of a mixed uh, feeling for me because I still think it's separate but equal kind of thing, ruling, but um, I'll take anything we can get. Al Davis tells me while he is happy his marriage is protected, he points to the compromise lawmakers set in place. According to the new law, states must recognize same-sex marriages but will not be required to issue marriage licenses. Churches can also refuse to perform gay marriages. I want it to be equal across the board. You know, for same-sex couples and for interracial couples. I'm hoping there'll be a day when it doesn't matter. This was from the very first day. We Bill Stevens showed me the day he married his husband, Robert, back in 2015 when same-sex marriage was first legalized. The pair did have to sue Orange County to get their license, but it's in that journey Stephen hopes younger generations learn and... To not take this stuff for granted, you know, that uh, there was people before us and the people, you know, like us, and then, you know, that have helped to get all the, the equality that we need. Georga adds. And to folks who may necessarily not fully understand why this is such a historic day, you know, again, we just simply want the same equal rights as everyone else. In Orlando, Brian Ditlake getting results, News 6.